Okay, Mom. Be right down, Flip. Okay, Joe. We're finished. Al, hit it, okay? What's that? How much are these 16 penny nails? 16 penny nails? Oh, I don't know. I have to look it up. A magazine cutter would only cost four dollars to make. For a piece of wood to go out of the mattress? No. Oh, you gotta have a number. What's the price of the 16-penny nail? Uh, 10 dollars Got that in it? Sir, I would like to paint this. Is this board all right for blue? Well, that's the best board we have for blue. Thank you. Whee! Oh, I almost forgot. What? Beauty shop delivered your wig. Oh, good. Oh, Miss McClure, your, your sister's in the office. She is. As a matter of myself personally, yes, sir. You can't own me, sir. Yes, sir. Hi. Oh, Chuck. Chuck, did you take care of that Martin Delia? Yes, Miss. Watch it, Tiger. Oh, spoils the horse. Hey, listen, we got a problem. Oh, you gotta have a number. Well, the fellow I lined up to be your dinner partner tonight canceled out. Fine. So we gotta yeah. find you a man for tonight. No, we don't gotta find me a man for tonight, Maxine. Business dinner, and I could care less. Oh, I must know someone. Well, of course I know someone. I know a lot of people, but I'm really not interested. Maxine, when are you going to stop trying to find me a husband? As soon as you give me some of that weather. Ow! <laughs> oh, come on. Just because I'm dieting. You can have one cup of wheat tea. Oh? No sugar. Why well, don't we gotta find you a man here? Look, Max, I love you dearly, and I appreciate your interest in my welfare, but will you cool it for tonight? I just don't happen to think that it's right your being without, without a, a dinner, dinner partner. I don't need a dinner partner, Maxine. I don't need a man in my life. I'm doing just fine. I really am. Boy, I have a business to run. I have three beautiful kids to keep me company. What more do I want? I'm doing just fine. Will you relax? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, will you cool it, please? I like it this way. Devoting her life to her family. Well, what's wrong with that? Baloney, that's what's wrong. Baloney? Listen, already your kids have a better deal than you do. At least they go to bed with a teddy bear at night. Uh -huh. I knew you'd get to the bedroom sooner or later, you little devil. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you do on a cold night? I turn on the electric blanket, okay? Well, I do better with a nudge. Oh, Max, I feel sorry for Harry. Oh, he does all right. Look, let's be realistic. Mm -hmm. Suppose I was interested. Can I tell you what's available? What? Confirm middle-aged bachelors and divorcees. Divorces? I don't think you call a man who's well, been I don't divorced. know what you call them, but they're all after you know what. Ooh. Losers and factory rejects. Well, there's always Mr. Wright. What if Mr. Wright is out there? How do I compete with the 20-year-olds? Well, like they say, if you're number two, you have to try a little harder. <laughs> oh, is that what they say? <laughs> yes, that's what they say. <laughs> well, so, back to work. Evans Williams. That's William Evans, and he's a plumber. Will you get out of that index? That's private. You're not going to find anyone in there anyway, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Ingram. Electrician. Engels. Insurance. Iverson. Is that Jake Iverson? Jake Iverson. Well, what does he do? He's just a friend. Attractive? Yes, Max. Very. Well, I... he's just someone Phil and I used to know, dear. Oh. oh. Flip, come to the office right away, please. Abby, it says here Jake and Evelyn. That's right. That's his wife. Or was. She's in the same boat I am. Flip! Office! Well, wait for her. Yeah, Mom? I'm just leaving. Already? Holy smoke, it's late. Honey, pass these out before you go, would you please? Okay. Thanks. Bye. See you, Lou. So long, Aunt Max. Bye, dear. Yeah. Mr. Iverson, just a moment, please. Mrs. McClure calling. You've got to be kidding. I'm not kidding at all. Come, oh, on, come sit down and talk to this nice you man. See him. Come on, talk to him. I can't ask him. I haven't seen him in years. You just ask the man to dinner. Miss McClure, I... Oh, Mrs. McClure will talk to you later. I don't even know what to say. Hello. Hello. Jake? What'd you say it was? This is, um, Abby McClure, Jake. Oh, how are you? 
Oh, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Fine, fine. Uh... And how's your uh, little girl? Lacey? Stacy. Stacy. Close. She's fine. How's your... Uh... The your, boys. Uh, I, I have three boys. They're fine, thank you. Well, he doesn't even know who I am. Just ask him. Uh, oh, Abby, uh, Phil's wife. That's right. It's been a long time. I, uh, I meant to call you after Phil. Uh... Oh, I understand. Will you just ask him? Um, I'll tell you why I'm calling. It's, uh, I'm having some people in tonight, you know, for a little dinner party, and I thought that, um, uh, uh, if you weren't doing anything, that maybe you'd like to come. Dinner tonight? Yes, uh-huh. You can? You can? Uh, oh, you can? Well, that's good. It's 4248 Myrtle Drive. And that's, um, oh, 7.30-ish. It sounds great. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. You can't tell me you aren't bored seeing just one pair of shoes under your bed. Oh, Max, is that all you ever think about? Sex? Yes. <laughs> Place my garden papers. Got a pair? Yes, ma'am. Hate to trouble you, Jake. I guess your husband's out of town again, huh? You know George and his hunting trips. I uh, don't see your daughter around. Oh, well, she's staying with friend. Yeah. Want to help with my garden? No, Cleo. I think it's real bad luck to go digging around somebody else's garden. You are scared. You're damn right I am. Too bad. Stop by for a drink later? No, I have to go meet somebody. It's the wife of an old friend. I'm the wife of an old friend. Yeah, yeah. This is different, though. Don't you like me? Sure, I like you, Cleo. It's my husband, isn't it? What do you mean? I can't get to you because of George. Well, I like George, too. Wish I could say that. Uh -huh. What a wicked waste. Well, toodaloo. Have fun, Jake. I'm not the type to complain, but on days like this, I get the feeling that I'm keeping three horses out of work. Where are they? The horses? The boys. Well, Flip's in his room, and the other two are in there. Where? In there. In the living room? Yes. Oh, Molly! In the living room, where do you expect? There are no other rooms here except... Certainly not yet. What is going on in here? Oh, now you know we have company coming tonight, and look at this room. But you told me I could paint. That was two months ago when you had the mumps. I told you, Jason. Now, you're no better, Mitchell. But you should be. You're older. You just get off of this couch. I've been fat. And you get over here. Now, enough is enough. Now, you two just hop to it, and you get this place cleared up. And write and stop laughing at me. And put your retainers in your mouth and leave them in there. 
I don't want to see them out of your mouth again. Do you hear? I have had it. You. Uh, uh, uh. Can you hear me now? Yes. All right. Did I ask you to keep an eye on Mitch and Jason I'm until sorry, I I'm sorry, Mom, home? but I got to get ready. I got a date. So have I, dear. I have guests coming, or did you have yeah, to Yeah, but you don't that? have to shave, and that takes time. Especially when you got a heavy beard like mine. Oh, yes. None of your lip. It's a gopher. Night, Mom. Got a split. Oh, just a minute, honey. Uh, I know. Drive carefully. Don't be late. Check. Check. Hope your party's a gas. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> you have fun, too, you hear? Sexy. Oh, good. What those boys need is the firm hand of a man around here. Lord knows you've had your choice with all those fellas your sister brings around. Oh, you know you should do yourself and those boys a favor and get yourself married, PDQ. Of course, it's not for me to say. You're so right, Holly. If there's one thing I believe in, it's keeping my place and keeping my mouth shut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> what? Yeah. Figures, the boys are playing astronaut with oh. it. Oh! Look at this wig. It's soaking. I just sprayed the whole thing. Now what do I do? And look at me. Look at this hair, and I have company coming. Well, couldn't you kind of push it up a little? Uh, do you have a snood? A what? Well, you know, a snood. You could kind of put it around here and hold it. Into... No, I don't have one of those. Well, you just stick it in the oven. The oven? Yeah, 200. And save some space. I'm going to stick my head in with it. <laughs> the oven, indeed. Many more days like this, and you'll be finding me in the oven. Mom? Well, uh... How come you didn't show up at my baseball game today? I couldn't make it, Mitchell. I got busy at the yard, honey. Maybe next Saturday I can come. Always the same excuse. Get those washcloths moving. Not fun and games time. Hey, let me try that. We're a little early, huh? Uh, no, I'm a little late. <laughs> well, uh, we met Jake in, in the, the oh, driveway, what? and uh, Jake, how, how about a drink? Harry can fix you a drink. Now, Mrs. McClure, about that oven. I've got to put the meat on broil, but your hair's on bake. Now, yeah, which well, shall I do first? 
I need the hair, Molly. I need false the hair. False eyelashes, false oh. hair, false bosoms. In my day and age, women were flesh and blood. Nowadays, they're 80% nylon and 20% foam rubber. Uh, Harry, dear, the drinks, the yeah, drinks. Yeah, yeah. Jake, a nice drink. On, Jake never hurt you. anybody. <laughs> Man, I need your help. Oh, was that terrible? Oh. What must he think about? Who me? cares? He's adorable. Oh, you oh, 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 Yes. This place has been a wall-to-wall -wall disaster area since I arrived home today. Well, Abby, you're a great deal of help to me. What am I supposed to say to this man? I would like you to meet my sister, the girl with the golden arm and her hair in the oven. Uh, my hair? Where is my hair? Well, don't worry about your hair. Why you aren't even dressed yet. Why don't you bring going to wear here? this evening? Oh. I'm wearing this white suit, Maxine. Is that all right with you? That white Oh, Abby, come on. Why don't you get into that marvelous red geranium hostess thing? Because it's thing not that kind of a party, Matt. You know that this is business. You know that all those people in there are customers well, from the lumber about the lumber well, set? Well, I do, dear. I do. Him. I have to be folksy. Oh, folksy, schmoksy, Abby. Come on, get into the red Matt, thing. Matt, I looks swear, so you, are, you are making me so nervous. I don't know what I'm doing. I am not going to wear the red dress. <laughs> nice party, Abby. <laughs> Say hello to Mr. Iverson, boys. This is Jason and Mitchell. Hi, Philip. Hello. Hello. Well, you've met everybody here. Now it's time to go to bed. You can marry Mommy. Oh. <laughs> no, he isn't, dear. Come on. Boy, Aunt Maxine is sure going to be disappointed. Chemical engineer. Yes, that's right. Where do you do your engineering? Pacific refineries, mostly. I just happen to know somebody you should meet. My cousin Dora. She just hasn't been able to find a man her intellectual equal. Have you tried the yellow pages? These single guys, you've got it made. Airline stewardesses. And nurses. So you're Abby's flower, huh? You got me a great girl. Do you know what the worst thing that ever happened to mankind is? The pill. Helps me sleep nights, though. is a wonder. You know, I just can't understand why some man hasn't just grabbed her up by now. <laughs> you know, any man would be lucky to have her for his wife. And I know that there is nothing more in this world that she would desire than to have a loving husband all her own, to love her any night, give a big hug, keep her cozy, keep her warm, keep her healthy, keep her Nice oh, doggy. Callico, stop Good it. Boy. I'm sorry. Oh, it's so nice. Uh, here, use this. Oh, thank you. I fixed your drink. Oh, no, thanks. I, I've got to go. Uh, I better get going. I just got my, just got my coat. Oh. Well, I'm sorry you have to leave so early. Well, so am I, but I, uh, I got these f customers coming in on the 1130 plane. I'll always back her, and I promised them I'd be there. Oh, I understand. Sure. Well, we'll have to get together sometime. That would be fun. Okay. Well, good night, Abby. Good night, dear. Thanks again for inviting me. You're welcome. You have my name. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Good night. Bye. Good <laughs> night. <laughs> if you think you have any milk left for breakfast, think again. And they finished all the bread, too, and we could use some more butter. And that Mr. Bates spilled all the orange juice. Oh, yes, and tomorrow's my day off, you know. Okay. I'll go to the market tonight. Listen, as a surprise, why don't you leave all of this for her till Monday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we'll be here tomorrow morning at 8 with the camper. Have the kids ready. Oh, cheerio. Night, Abby. Bye.
You have 48 seconds to get to the airport. You know what happened? It was, I was, um, I was just getting ready to leave the house. I was just going out the door, and the phone rang, and it was the people that I was going to pick up at the airport, you know, on the 11th, I told you. And uh, they called from Akron. They canceled because of, uh... Well, anyway, uh... uh I could have stayed longer, you know. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> you didn't miss a thing, believe me. Night, Jake. Night. Yeah. Thank you. I really am sorry. You're sorry you got caught. <laughs> well, it wasn't very nice of me to go running out like that. No, it wasn't nice, but it was smart. Okay, will you quit making it easy for me and just let me apologize, huh? Okay. Okay, I'm sorry and I apologize. I accept. Hey, you gonna get some coffee? Where? Well, it's a drive-in. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I'll meet you there. All right. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Herbie. Well, we're just about to close, but for you, tell me what it is you like, and I'll see to it personally. Order anything you want, and I'll charge you for a donut. Hey, what do you think you're doing, buddy? This ain't that kind of chick. This is class. Get back in your own machine. Oh, let him stay, Herbie. He's kind of nice. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. But from here on, it's full price for everything. We have some coffee. Big spender. Not even a donut? No, I want her to love me for myself, not the things I can give her. You blew it. You could have had steak. Huh. You're not sore, huh? No, I'm not. Pretty lousy story about the airport, though. <laughs> you would have gotten away with it if I hadn't needed bread. How long has it been anyway? About six years? Seven? Yeah. I think about seven. Two coffees, one with cream. Mind sure you don't want separate checks? How about a receipt for income tax purposes? No, it's okay, thank you. Mm, that's good. Well? Nothing, I'm just trying to picture you running that lumber yard. Well, I'm a whiz on a bandsaw, yeah. if that interests you. You run a home too, take care of all those kids and everything? Now that's difficult. No. Oh. You ever find any time for yourself? I manage. I have a housekeeper, Mrs. Benson, by name. Oh, yeah, I met her. And, um, it all works. Well, I think she's trying to tell us something. It's two o'clock. Closing time. Hey, listen. Now, don't tell me you were going to apologize again. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Oh, you weren't? <laughs> Good night. Good night, Jake. Thank you. Jay? Oh, hi. Hi. Well, I couldn't let you carry that heavy bag all by yourself. Thank you. There's nothing. Well, a while ago I couldn't wait to get out of here. Now you can't get rid of me, huh? <laughs> Listen, I want to see you again, okay? Do you? Okay. I'm available. Tomorrow night too soon? No. I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, we'll go get some spaghetti or something. I'll pick you up about seven. Seven. Seven thirty. Six thirty. <laughs> You guys, cut it out. I'm trying to read the paper, so let's have a quiet breakfast, huh? Now, Mom was up late last night. She's probably beat. So settle down, all right? Now, eat. Good morning, Ruth. How you doing? Hey, hats off at the table, buddy boy. Come 
Mom. Mom, hi. Hi, hi Mommy. Mommy. Boy, have we got a day for a picnic. It is gorgeous. Listen, don't forget your uh, graduation rehearsal. Gee, I wish you could go with us. Yeah. Yeah. kid's birthday or something. Anyway, he won't be able to make it tonight. Why shouldn't he go out with a young chick? Why take a bus when you can fly?
And I mean good night. San Francisco Bay Area will show signs of precipitation in the AM, followed by clearing and somewhat clearer skies. Hello? Hey, you're awful hard to get a hold of. What are you doing, running from the law? Hello, Jay. Listen, Flip did tell you about why I couldn't make it last night, didn't he? Yeah, he said that uh, it was some kind of a birthday or something. It's okay. Yeah, I forgot all about it. Hey, you want to have lunch tomorrow? I don't know, Jay. It's, you know, it's, uh, I'm so, I'm so busy at the yard right now. Yeah, well, uh, how about some evening then? Friday okay? Oh, I don't think so, Jay. It's, um, pretty hectic. Is a brush off? Well, I guess you got your reasons. Oh, well, whatever it is, I'm supposed to be that dead, Dan. Okay. Bye, Abby. Bye, Jay. Fourteen times to the mirror. That should do it. I'm a nervous wreck about that speech. Excuse me just a second, Mom. Okay. Hey, Charlie? <laughs> well, I guess maybe, uh, boys. Hey, come back here. Now, you know what I told you. If you behave today, you can go with Aunt Max to the lake for the weekend. Yay. But if you don't, the deal is off. Yay! Flip's going, too? Yay. With you? No, honey, he's not going with you. He's going on his own weekend. I guess we can go on in now. Come on, guys. Liz. Yeah, Mom? There's a girl standing out there. Um, she's sort of facing us. And uh, she has very long brown hair hanging kind of in front with bangs. Who is she? That's Stacy Iverson. Not quite. They haven't given me my diploma yet. Well, you better go get it before they get wise to you. Attention, attention, please. Will the graduates and their guests kindly take their seats? The ceremony is about to begin. Thank you. We brought this uh, stuff along. We could talk it over over. Come in. How are the kids? Fine. They're away for the weekend. How are you? Fine. Thank you. <sighs> Gee, if I knew it was going to be this easy, I'd have bought the domestic stuff. <laughs> I'll get the glasses. Oh, yeah, I got glasses. I got glasses. Oh. There. Thought of everything, huh? Of course. Hey, no. Calico. Who are you? Now, you're supposed to eat caviar with this stuff, but I like popcorn better. You like popcorn? Oh, I love it. You like so it, too? He. Okay. <laughs> now, then. Champagne Charlie, the last of the big spenders. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Hey, you ever <laughs> going to tell me why you're so mad at me? Nope. Uh, oh! 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 <laughs> oh! I had to let you in.
want some coffee? Oh, it's late. I think I better go, oh, Jake. Oh, come on. You coming, Stacy? Stacy. Oh, it feels good in here, huh? Mm -hmm. Picture of you, Stacy. Darling, how old are you here? Three. Darling. Pretty frame. Uh huh. Daddy gave it to Mother for their anniversary. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Oh my! I wonder what time it is. Do you know? Uh, no, but I, I would think it's kind of late. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh dear. Um, Jake, huh? I don't think I'll stay in here. Why not? What's the matter? Uh, it's, uh, I have such a day tomorrow. Well, it's still early. And, uh, well, coffee. Night, Stacy. Uh, I'll see you soon, honey. Good night, Mrs. McClure. Here, I'll take you up. That's okay, Jake. I can manage. Huh? Thank you. Good night. You sure? Mm -hmm. Good night. How about some of that coffee? Okay. Oh, hey, I haven't got any cigarettes. I'll just go down the corner and get some. I'll turn that off in about five minutes. I'll be right back, honey. Back again, huh, sweetie? Hi, Herbie. Herbie Flex, too good a thing to pass up. I figured you'd come around to your senses. Two coffees, please. Uh, two coffees. I should have guessed Diamond Jim would be here. Diamond Jim, two coffees. Cigarettes? Yeah, yeah, I'm buying a lot of cigarettes this, lately. This is ridiculous. Hey, I'm sorry about that kid. I think we'll just leave her home next time. Oh, Jake. We just have to give her time, that's all. She'll get used to me. Mm. I think. Maybe. I hope. I did. <laughs> did you? Yeah, you're pretty nice. <laughs> well, so long, pal. Good night. It's been very nice, Mr. Ives. Been grand. Now, here are some scenes from next week's episode. <laughs> okay. Hey, 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 it's just going to take time. Yep, yep, yep. Excuse me. Going out, honey? No, there's a show I want to watch. Oh. Well, uh, why don't you uh, watch it in your room, then? I want to watch it in color. Darn. I forgot Molly's pumpernickel. Get it in the morning. Oh, I, I, honey, I, you know how she is. She loves to have pumpernickel with her breakfast. I, well, I won't be with a minute. Don't tell me. I know. 
two cups of coffee, right? Dame's got to be a masochist. All right. All right. This has got to be the craziest courtship in history. Well, I'm sick of this drive-in, I'll tell you that. I'm getting kind of sick of Herbie, what's his name? Fleck. Fleck! <laughs> hey, listen, you want to go for a ride someplace? I always want to go for a ride someplace. What time it is? What? It's after 11 o'clock. You're kidding. Is it really? Oh. You said you'd be right back. Well, I know I did, but it was such a pretty night that I, t we, uh, I took a drive. You better get to bed. It's late. Well, you could have called. I didn't think that you would be up. You then. knew I'd be worried you being out in the car and all. Honey, I didn't think that you would be sitting up here you with... You know what I was getting ready to do? I was getting ready to call the hospital. Will you please keep your voice down? You'll wake the boys. Now, I want you to calm down, too. I'm sorry if I upset you. But I just didn't think it was necessary to call. Now, let's not make a big case out of nothing. Okay? Okay. Okay. Good night, honey. Mom. What? Where's the pumpernickel? Let's shape up, huh, Mom? Oh, honey. Hi, Mr. Iverson. Oh, hi, Janie. I didn't know you were here. Oh, Janie's spending the night. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, have a good time at Mrs. McClure's? Yeah, very nice. Kind of late, though, huh? Well, I guess it is, gee. I'll go to bed, then. Good night. Good night, Mr. Iverson. Fair with Mrs. McClure. Do you mean am I getting serious about her? Is that what you mean? You're talking like a child. I asked you if you're having an affair. I heard what you asked me. What the hell kind of question is that, anyhow? Dad, I'm not a baby anymore. I understand sex. I've known about it for years. What do you mean you've known about it for years? No, oh, Daddy, I said I understand it. I didn't say I. Oh, Are you having an affair? So Mrs. you be quiet. Jamie's out there. What's the matter? Well? Well, what? Don't you think you're a little old to be carrying on like this? Oh. You could get in trouble, you know. Hello? Hi. Hi. How's it over at your house? Very hostile. A little indignant around here. You know, I forgot the pumpernickel. Yeah. Why didn't you remind me? Because I forgot. Oh, I miss you. Yeah. Hey, how old are you, anyway? Why? Well, never mind. I just know I'm too old for any more of this fooling around. You know what I well, mean? Well, so am I. And it's the last you time I'm going to meet you in that drive-in. This is really ridiculous, making up excuses dark. about pumpernickel and cigarettes yeah, and stuff and coming home and getting a sex lecture from a 17-year-old kid. And I'm fed and up with the whole I'm... shot. Well, so am I. Shut up. I love you. Now, you love me, right? I love you, right. Okay. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah,
walking around here, lady. Well, you gotta have the numbers there. Calico, hurry it up. It's three o'clock in the morning, boy. What time Stacy coming tomorrow? Oh, Maybe she's today. at Janie's for the night, and I told her to be here about eight o'clock. Oh, boy. I can't face it. Oh, come on. Now, all we have to do, we just sit them down, we give them some breakfast, and then you tell them. You a right side sleeper too? Mm-hmm. Are you? It's all right. Oh, Jake. No, I, I we just got married too query. quick. That's all. <laughs> Never mind. I don't care. It doesn't make any difference. Hey, where are your shoes? My shoes. Yes, I want your shoes. What are you doing? Never mind. There. It's for my sister. Your sister? Right. Do this? I didn't. She did. It's my day off, you know. Of course, if I'd have known this was going to be your wedding day, I could have rearranged everything, but my plans are made. I'm oh, that's okay, sorry. Molly. That's all right. I'm oh, well, thank you. Yeah. And congratulations thank again. You. Oh, it's so romantic. I mean, eloping to Las Vegas and all that. Oh, I bet you were a beautiful bride. <laughs> oh, dear. I guess I'd better go before I get sloppy. Have a nice day, Molly. Wait, Thank you, Stacy. Thank you for fixing the table so pretty. That's all right. Breakfast and everything. What can I help? What can I do for you? First? Nothing. I've done everything. Stace. Honey, I know how you feel. Really, I do. And I know how the boys feel. But you know something? Oh, I love your father very much. Uh, please let me do that. You it's okay. okay. I know how Daddy likes it. That's the way I like them. Well, Stacy made them. She did everything. Oh, well, I always said you're pretty good cook. Morning. Morning. Hi, Rick. Yeah. Morning, Hi. Mr. Iverson. Hey, isn't it about time you start calling me Jake? I sit over here. Oh, this your chair? Oh, that's all right. No, we'll go on. Sit down. No, 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 no that's all right. Here. Huh? No. He doesn't mind. Okay. Oh, boy, this is good. Mr. Iverson, you want Danny now? Yep. Think you're going to like that? I don't know yet. <laughs> hey, listen, I think today calls for some kind of celebration, don't you? Now, what do you say we stay home from work and then we can all spend the day together somehow? Let's do, huh? Yay! Oh, 
Oh boy, one big happy family, yay! Yay! Take care of our share. Because with six, you get egg roll. Are we going to be going home soon, Dad? Oh, yeah, we were just talking about that, honey. You know, our house is pretty small, and I think, uh, seeing as how there's six of us now, we'd be a lot better off over at Abby's place. Wait, we're going to be living at her house? Oh, boy. Well, you can say that again. Oh, boy. What's the matter with that? Nothing's the matter with that. Only one tiny little thing, like there's no room for me. That's all. Say that again. Well, honey, wait a minute. This is just temporary, you know. We can fix up a couch or something for tonight. Oh, we? great. Yeah. Excuse me, please. Yeah. Oh, Janet. She's absolutely right. She shouldn't have to give up her bedroom. What do you got in mind? Well, why don't we all go to your house? Honey, there's only two bedrooms in my house. Now, that wouldn't be fair to the boys, would it? Where are they going to sleep? On the floor? You don't have to worry about the boys. They're just... Happy, shut up out there, it's I gonna said. It's going to be a night, I'm telling you. Stop it. I said stop it right now. Oh, well. Mr. Iverson, mm -hmm. you know what? What? Our dog hates your dog. No, they just talk when they bark like that. They'll get to like each other all right. Good night, you mind turning the radio off, honey? Mm. Night, Cliff. Mm. Mom, why can't I... Shh, your brother's asleep. Mom, but why can't I sleep on the floor like this? Shh, next time. Tonight you have to rough it on the couch. Night, pal. Filthy. Well, there's some cleaning stuff underneath there. You know where it is. I'm not going to clean up after them. Well, I'll I'm not going to. No, why should you do it? Nobody has to clean. The boys can do it. I don't Mom, think I'm doing it. What this is, is a drag. What is? Can I cannot go back to our place and sleep? This is our house, Flip. Yeah, but that crummy cot in the kitchen. What's so bad about sleeping in the kitchen? Well, why can't we have some laughs around here? A cot. Hmm. You know you can grow to hate that word. What is it? Can I sleep with you? Out! Get going! Nothing the matter with that. I was just going to ask you the same thing. It's very important for Stacy. She's the one who has the big adjustment to make. What about Flip? It's not so easy for him, you know. He's used to being a man around your house, and now he winds up out of my kitchen on a cot with his radio up. I know I shouldn't laugh at that. But what else can we do? Uh, 
I think what we got to do is just sell both of the houses, and then we buy a new one. And we move into that, and it won't be your house, it won't be my house, it'll just be everybody's house, okay? That's a very good idea. And until we sell... No. We're gonna... Oh! Until we sell, we'll alternate what? between the houses. Go back and forth. You mean in a different house every night? Why not? We can manage. Mary the gypsy. We have to be fair to everybody. Then when... When Molly is over here, we'll be there. And when she's there, we'll be here. Yeah. And that, uh, yes, and then Stacy will have her own bedroom, and that's what I want. She's got to have her own bedroom. Oh. Can I do anything for you? Yeah. It better. Do I'm exhausted. <laughs> Mommy. What's the matter? I can't find the bathroom. <laughs> A couple of things that uh, I think we ought to hash over. What I started... There's a couple of things that I... What's darling? Oh, I love it. Why don't you take that? Oh, come on, Stacy. Okay. How much is that, please? Uh, $29.95. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll pay for it. I have an account here. Oh, fine. Daddy oh. gave it to me. I know it's been kind of hard for you to get used to the idea of having a father around a house again, but I think that if both of us just... Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, but I have to go. I promised to meet some friends. Oh, okay, honey. I'll see you later. Well, whose house are we going to be at tonight, yours or mine? Mine. Fun out there? Oh, I hope so. I don't know. Listen, when are uh, you two going to stop this traveling circus bit back and forth, huh? <laughs> well, what'd you get in Vegas? A marriage license or a driver's license? Well, you haven't even had a honeymoon. We know that. Look, why don't you both go up to San Francisco with us for the weekend? Hey, that's a great huh? idea, huh? I wish we huh? could. We can't. Why? Those are kids that kill each other, that's why. Well, now, there is a perfect solution. When you get back, you keep the winners. Hi. What's Hi, going on in there? Space is just having a party. Well, we wanted to watch the basketball game in color. House. Come on, guys. What did you say about San Francisco? Oh, boy, am I ready. You know, one thing I don't understand is why parents never run away from home. Well, we'd love to have you come. Uh, let's go, Max. Oh, for sure, honey. Well, see you around, fellas. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, my dear. Oh, no. Bye-bye. Good Listen, I just told you, second marriage would never work out, right? Get out of here. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Hello. Here I come, right here. We're going to my house where we can be alone.
Oh, Jake. Well, howdy, neighbor. Hi, Cleo. Sorry, I haven't been over lately. I've been in Mexico getting a divorce. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I thought you were alone, Jake. No, no, I'm not. Abby, uh, this is Mrs. Ruskin. She's my, she's the neighbor next door. Uh, this is Abby, she's my wife. Well, I just uh, happened to be walking down the street. It's a nice night for street walking. She is your wife, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Would you two be living here? No, I don't think no, so. No, no, I really won't. don't. No. Well, uh, have fun, kiddies. Oh, uh, you have my number. Mm. We do. Well, she used to babysit for Stacy. <laughs> uh huh. Besides, her husband is about that big, and he's a tackle for the Green Bay Packers, oh. and he's scared of it. Mrs. McClure. Her Iverson. Oh, this is my night to be here, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, you're right. This is Mr. Weiss. Nice meeting you. I already know Mr. Iverson, post office department. Had this room for 14 years. Yep. How do you do? What happened? What'd you come back for? Oh, well, um, Mr. Iverson, uh, we... I wanted to see if the for sale sign was still out on the lawn. It is. Well, um, good night. Have a nice time. Nice meeting you. Thanks. And congratulations and good luck on your marriage. Oh, thanks a lot. Oh, thank you. Good night. Thank you. Tomorrow's my day off, you know. Yeah. You know, we're right back where we started, aren't you? Well, I guess so. Even switching houses doesn't help. Is it? No, I'm getting very depressed. Yeah, it gives you gas. I... Pleasure to serve you. <laughs> Why don't you come in again sometime when you need empty cups? Why don't you two get married so you'll have a place to go? Why don't you get married so you'll have a place to go? My house... would be perfect. But we need another bedroom. We haven't got another bedroom. And that way, Molly would have a bedroom. And Stacy would have a bedroom. We haven't got another bedroom, honey. I can't just, you know, snap my <laughs> fingers like that and get you another bedroom. <laughs> you just did it. Use the camper for the extra bedroom till Aunt Maxine gets back from San Francisco. We're all gonna quit moving this back and forth stuff, and we'll stay right here in this house. Yay! My mother's got a little headache this morning, so Yay. that's better. Hey, Mom, can me and Jason sleep in it? The camper, the camper, the camper. Uh, the camp? No, 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 no. You boys have to Hi. sleep in the house. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I'll take the camper, Mom. Oh, fine, Flip. That's good. But he already has a room. Why can't I sleep in the camper? Well, we didn't think you'd want to sleep out there, honey. You take my room. Oh, thanks a lot. I don't want your room. Look, it's settled. Forget it, will ya? But I How many times I've got to argue with this girl? Every time I come out of that. I do it. Oh, wow. You're so quiet. Oh, excuse me a minute. I don't tell you who's going to sleep in the camper. Your mother and I are going to sleep right. in the camper, and that'll be the end of it. What? Right? You and I are going to sleep but in I the camper. But I thought you were going to be quiet. Yeah. Camper, yeah. please yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. Be quiet. Be oh, quiet. Wow. And you be sleep. quiet. You've got a headache, remember? Now, you and I are going to sleep in the camper. That's who's going to sleep in the camper. That is the end of it. Right now, once and for all. And don't hold dinner for me, because I'll be late. I'm sorry, Rudolph. 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 Rudol
I'll be home early. I knew you would be. <laughs> I'm so. But I can't. We will sleep in the camper, though. Knock it off! I go out in the back. This is adult talk. Big man! Go on. So my room isn't good enough for you, huh? Nothing about you is good enough for me. This house is so weird. Do you know what's wrong with you? What, Mr. McClure? You're spoiled rotten, Miss Iverson. Excuse me. Stacy, what are you looking for, dear? A glass. Well, they're right in here where they've always been. Everything's in such dark places here. At least in our house, you can find something when you want it. Well, why don't you rearrange the kitchen the way you'd like it, Stacy? Why don't you do that? Well, I do know what Daddy likes. Okay, Stacy, you've got your wish. If you want to be the lady of the house, you're going to be it. It's Molly's day off, and you can just take charge of everything. We'll start with the ironing. And we'll do a little mending, a little floor polishing, a little silver polishing. Don't forget to do the bedrooms and clean the bathrooms. Then you'll have to do a little marketing for dinner. And we'll have dinner at 6 30. Have a nice day, Stacy. If you want me, I'll be at the hairdresser. Hi, Stacy. You'll have the room in just a shake, honey. How's it going? Well, here's a list all finished. Oh, thanks. Uh, except I didn't know where to put that big silver tray. Oh, in the living room chest. Oh, what about tomorrow's list? Would you like to work on that? Tomorrow's Saturday. Well, I know, honey, but there's an awful lot to do. You're going to have to get an early start. Now, let's see. First, I want you to call your friends and go to the beach for the whole day. And then come home and fix your hair and your nails and make some nice long phone calls and have your dinner and go to the movies. Unless you'd rather be the lady of the house. Get some rest, you can use it. Who's Abby? Oh, she's in the bedroom. She just got home. Laundry, ironing, linen, floors to wash. She just got home. Where's she been? I think she was out shopping, getting her hair done, stuff like that. Her hair done? You mean you did all this by yourself? Sure did. Been at it since this morning. Wash, do wash. Okay. You know, Dad, it made me realize something. Oh, now, would you mind telling me what the hell's going on around here? What? I'm talking. This is what I'm talking about. Now, how come you got to lay all the work on Stacy anyway? What's the matter with Flip? Well, aren't you silly? What do you mean, silly? Well, what's now, the matter what's with the matter Flip with helping you? out around here? Why do you have to lay it all on her? Flip's playing basketball. Oh, he's playing basketball. That's great. He's Stop bouncing raising a, your voice a ball. To me. I'll raise if my you voice. Shut up long enough, I can I'll get through it to you. you. Don't tell me to shut up. Well, I just won't discuss it with you, Jake Iverson. Well, that's yeah. fine. Who wants to discuss it? If you want to know the truth, it was an experiment. An experiment? Yes. And what? Child labor? A 14 hour day? That is the lowest thing you can do. What? I was trying to help her. Help her? And it'll never happen again, I'll tell you that. Well, you can be damn sure of that, yeah. You big bully! What's he so sore about? Just go to bed, both of you.
You owe me an apology. I owe you an apology. You I owe you an do. apology for what? You happen to owe me an explanation. I still don't know what this is all about. What I don't owe you statement. anything. You're just stupid. If you don't know what I was trying to do for that girl, don't then there's no reason for me to even be stupid. in here. I didn't call you stupid. You just called me stupid, and you know something? You're right. I am stupid. We right. own two houses, and I'm sleeping in the back of a truck. And whose idea was that? All right, it was my idea. Flip it was my idea, idea, and you know why? Yes, yeah, so Flip could sleep out here. Right. Fine. That was brilliant. That was a brilliant idea. Whose idea was it to get this thing in the first place? Do you remember Yours. that? Yours. No, you don't remember, because it was down at the drive-in, and you were roaring drunk at the oh, time. That's a nice thing to say. Why don't you shout it for the neighbors to hear it? You were roaring drunk what at the you, time! You're... Oh, you're just mean. And you know you're wrong about Stacy. Of course I'm you're wrong. You're dead I'm wrong. I'm a husband. I am your husband. I am married. I've got to be wrong all you the can't time. Even wrong. You can't even say you're sorry. Oh, I am sorry, all right. I am oh, sorry. Oh, that's a nice thing to say. What are you sorry about, getting married? Did I say I was sorry I no, got married to you? No, but you're thinking it. How do you know what I'm because thinking? Because I happen to know what you're thinking every minute. Oh, you're a mind reader. And if that's now, the way psychic. you want it, then it's fine with me. Fine with me. Go back to that babysitter, whatever her name is. Cleo. Her name is Cleo. I want to apologize. I'm coming back right now. Jake. Jake. coffees. They're on fleck. Again. Listen, can you, can you lend me some clothes to wear? It was that dame, right? Yeah. Tore the clothes right off you. No, no. What a tiger. I want some clothes. You got any 
I ain't got no clothes except dirty uniforms. That's fine, anything. Dirty uniforms? Yeah, I don't care. Hey, I don't mind. It's all right with me, buddy. This is the latest color, chocolate. No, it's all right. But I, uh, I'll tell you one thing. I hope you're not gonna make a regular thing out of this. You no. Know? This is a hot dog stand, not a haberdashery. Yeah, I know. If you give me a lift home, do you think? No, I'm a bus station. Hey, Duke. Duke, come here. This is, you know, not part of the regular service here, Flex. Come here. Okay. Give this guy a lift, will you? I got deliveries to make. So you got another one. Drop him and dump him. Someone. Actually, I'm looking for a man. Man? How's that again, baby? Well, I'm looking for my husband. I, I lost him, and I've, I've got to find him. What does this cat resemble and look like, baby? Well, actually, he'd, he'd be very easy to recognize because he's in his undershorts, and he's, and I think, carrying a teddy bear. A teddy bear. He took a trip. Went that way. What, what did he say? He went that way. Thanks very Please, much. Man. Saddle up, friend. We shall give our hand. That is our bag to help folk. We will follow us. Gotta find little old teddy bear. Chicken truck, huh? Route six is just one big fricassee. Drive is rounding up the birds, then it'd be down to press charges. Look, Sergeant, I've, I've got to find my husband. Your royal fuzz. Let our mother go. Let our mother go. Are they with you? Your fuzziness. My group is baby's character witness. We are about to commit for you one sit-in until our baby is thoroughly released. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah. Down, Cloud, down. You've got no driver's license, no identification. I think I'd like to talk to this husband myself. Pick him up. OK, let's have a description. How old is he? I don't know. Sergeant. The whole thing happened because of the children. They were only happy living in their own home, so we tried moving from place to place, and it didn't work. Then we decided to go to my house, and we thought with the camper, everybody would have enough room, everybody would be happy, and that didn't work either. So then Jake and I had an awful argument, and I said all kinds of nasty things to him, things that I didn't mean, and I said, okay, you can go back to Cleo, and I'll personally take you there myself. And that's what I was doing. I was taking him and when he fell out of the camper. I was... Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, wow. You're free, baby. You're free. You're not going anywhere, sister. But into a cell. What is this? You're allowed one call. Use the pay phone, please. I demand my. R I'll take it. You ain't groovy. 
What's going on? Where's your mother? She's in jail. She's where? Police station. She needs identification. Well, here, give me that. I'll go. Mom called me. She doesn't want you. And neither do we. I heard you yelling at her. We had a nice, peaceful family around here till you came along. So why don't you just take her and go back where you came from? Right. You stay here with them. I'm going to take the station wagon. Shut up! Shut up! All of you. All right, come on. Just a misunderstanding, Sergeant. Any further questions, you can contact me in my law firm. All right, Mr. Scott, the uh, truck driver will... Hold it down here, Mom! Are you the husband? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't recognize you without the teddy bear. Yeah. It's old teddy bear! It's old teddy bear! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. mean to tell me that she is part of this family? This has got to be a plot against the chickens of America. <laughs> I want to press charges against all of them. Oh, oh, Hold it down. One at a time. All right, you first. There was an accident in the parking lot. I don't know whose fault it was. He doesn't know whose what parking lot? There, when I got there, this ape here was trying to beat up my kid. Self-defense, Sergeant. The whole mob came at us. Even her. She tried to knock my head off. The girl was in this, too? Why not? She's part of the family. Ruby tried. Yeah, yeah. They fight dirty, too. All of them. Look where the little kid bit me. It serves you right. You're twice as big as my brother. What a good right. 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 Check out there. And the right to mix in. He sure did worry his family. He's our father. Perhaps this can best be settled in court. Have your attorney call me. Thanks, Uncle Harry. Uncle Harry? They even got their own lawyer. Well, I guess that about settles everything. All right, you can all go. You guys never stood a chance when you took on that family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.